Hey lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to today's Cleaning Motivation Monday video. We are going to be starting today in the living room with the Flash Dust Magnet Duster. I love this duster. It's a new product to me and I have been loving using it for the past couple of weeks. And I'm going to use it to go across all of the shelves in my living room and all of the ornaments. We have come to the end of the autumn season. So I've taken down all of my autumn decor and put other ornaments back up. But it all needs a really good dust and this is such a good product for really attracting all of that dust quickly and easily feel as you know we is hard sometimes maybe i just need some time some space to figure out how to give my all to you if you give me one more try i might just realize that it will always be us too maybe i just need some time Like I said, I'm just going to go through all the shelves, all the photo frames, and make sure that no stone has been left unturned. Mm, I'm sorry for the way we left things. I know you're hurting. I didn't mean to start a war. I'm still learning how to talk up on my feelings. You know, it gets hard sometimes. Maybe I just need some time, some space to figure out how to give my all to you. I'm also going to use my flash duster to do my shutters. Always work your way from the up down when you're doing blinds or shutters. It's the best way to catch all of the dust. As you can see, the duster is still going strong. I'm going to do it on my picture frames as well and the little side table. You would be surprised how much you can use this before you need to remove the head. But I'll show you now when I looked at the head and removed it, it was good and dusty, so I knew that I'd given everything a really good clean. So I'm just going to take that off, ready for next time. Okay, the next job I want to do is the skirting boards, and this is so quick and easy, guys. I'm going to use a sponge, super absorbent sponge, and a bowl of water. Zero product. This is literally all I'm going to use. These sponges, again, like the duster I just showed you, they are literally dust magnets. You get them wet, you wipe it across your skirting board, and it will get up every little bit of dust and mess that has settled on there without using any products that was with one wipe as you can see so I'm just going to continue to do this across all of my skirting using the bowl of water to clean off the sponge every time that I do this and then when I need to refresh the water I will do that as well but as you can see it just works so well it's so simple so quick and so easy I watch you as you dry do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I want to focus on the kitchen now I'm just making Cooper a drink quickly <laughs> He's been so good playing with his toys and eating some snacks I'm just going to give him a drink and I'm just going to spend some time in the kitchen So I'm just going to empty and load up the dishwasher before I do anything else Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I and I'm gonna clean the sink next. I feel like if there is a gleaming sink in the kitchen, then the whole kitchen seems sparkling and clean. So I'm using my Scrub Daddy soap scrubber sponge. I never know what to call this thing, but I love it. It's full of dishwasher liquid, and I'm gonna use this to just scrub down all of the sink surfaces, make sure I've got any bits of food that have dried onto there, and really get down into the plug hole and give that a good scrub as well. I put your favorite song on just to wake you up when I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever I'm loving this moment and 
I'm just going to spray a little bit of disinfectant surface spray and use my spin scrubber to just go over my plug hole covers and make sure they are lovely and sparkling as well. Next up I'm going to use that same Zaflora surface spray that you saw before and a fresh microfiber cloth and I'm just going to go over all of our kitchen surfaces. I also want to spend a minute to wipe down our kitchen cupboards as well. They can get a little bit grimy and get some smudges on them where Cooper likes to rub his hands on them or liquids fall down them, you know what happens. So I'm just going to wipe these down as well while I've got everything that I need. I watch you as you drive, do you know I'm looking? The next job I really wanted to do today was spot clean the sofas. This is so easy because we have clever velvet sofas. So all I do is get a simple surface cleaner, I spray it onto a cloth, not directly onto the sofa, onto the cloth, and then I just gently rub the velvet back and forth, not too rough, just nice and gentle, and literally any stain and mark comes off nothing has been too tough for these sofas so far this is probably a mix of milk and chocolate and fizzy drinks we had a Halloween party at the weekend so goodness knows what all this is really but like I say nothing is too tough and there's nothing a little bit of surface spray and a good gentle rub with a cloth won't get off I'm also going to do the same with the sofas in our living room. As you can see, I think this is a handprint, a chocolate handprint. <laughs> but that will come right off, so it doesn't matter. If you're curious, all of our sofas, like I said, they are called Clever Velvet Sofas, and they are made by Loaf. I will never get another fabric as long as I have young children, because, yeah, as I said, they are just indestructible when it comes to grubby little hands. <laughs> I just want to tidy and clean the dining table now and I'm going to use some flash disinfectant wipes. These are the frosted eucalyptus ones which smell amazing. As you can see there's just breakfast dirt and mess everywhere where Leo and Cooper have had their breakfast there this morning. But since I treated this table, I treated it with a matte varnish a few weeks ago. Honestly, best thing I've ever done. Since I've done that they wipe up and they clean up so easy, there's never any sticky residue I just wish I'd done it sooner and I'm also going to use these wipes to just go over Cooper's high chair and just get off any food mess that has been built up in here Now I'm going to spend some time in the downstairs toilet. This is the toilet that gets used the most, so this is probably the one that I clean the most. So I'm going to use pink for the sink. I've got a fresh pink cloth here, and you saw me use a Sif bathroom spray. I've just sprayed the sink, and I'm just going to use this cloth to give it a good rub down and to polish the chrome on the taps as well. I'm going to take the top off of the plug and make sure I really clean well underneath before I screw it back on. Let me go. Let me go. 
onto the toilet now and I've got a fresh blue cloth because blue for the loo and I'm going to wipe down all the surfaces here and obviously inside the toilet as well being extra thorough because I live with boys and I have to be thorough when it comes to toilets and I'm going to put some blue toilet gel down there as well and using a good old-fashioned wire toilet brush I'm just going to give it a really thorough scrub but I learned my lesson what if we could move on? Remember the good days I wish that we could go back I know I'm not perfect But at least give me a... I also want to make sure that I've cleaned the toilets down here as well Like I said, for obvious reasons I won't go into <laughs> So I've got my Beldre spray mop which has a nice clean head on it which has been in the washing machine you can just take the head off this and put it straight in the washing machine it's so handy in the spray mop I, spray mop, I think I've got some diluted um, Zaflora in there which smells lovely so I'm just going to go over all of the floor surfaces here and make sure I've picked up any mess Okay, I'm moving on to the stairs now, and the first thing I'm going to do is dust them using the same technique I showed you on the skirting boards, just the sponge and some water, as you can see, oh my gosh, my stairs are so dusty, I don't know how they build up so quickly. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down, literally look at that. I'm disgusted with myself that's just terrible yeah, I'm gonna work from the top and work my way down the stairs dusting all of the sides all of the skirting all of any sort of wooden surface on the stairs because for some reason the dust gathers here at an absolutely rapid speed give me a chance yeah baby try now the sides have been dusted, I can hoover the carpet. So I'm just going to use my handheld hoover here to just really hoover all of the carpet on the stairs. And while I've got the hoover handy, I will hoover all of the hard floors downstairs. Obviously there's certain bits I can't do or there's no point doing because Cooper is playing <laughs> in the kitchen. So I'll just leave him be, but the bits that he's not using, I will just quickly run the hoover over them. I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough. The next thing I want to do is put on a load of washing. This is such a simple and quick way to make me feel so productive. If I have a load of washing on, I just feel so much better about my day and feel like I'm getting so much more done. So I've decided to do Leo's basket today because it was the one that was piling the highest. I'm just going to pop all of his clothes in the washing machine and set that onto a cycle. Cooper have come upstairs now he's very happily playing in his room as you can see and I want to strip the boys beds so I'm going to strip the sheet off Cooper's cot and swap that for a lovely fresh sheet <laughs> sorry that was a tongue twister and then I will do the same in Leo's room as well excuse the crazy balloons in Leo's room as I said we had a Halloween party at the weekend and he wanted to keep some of the balloons in his room for a while oh my gosh if anyone has a bunk bed or this Ikea cabin bed you will know how difficult it is to change the sheets it is a mission it is so awkward to get up there and to put on a new sheet every time I just finish sweating like I've run a marathon because it's such hard work I dread doing it to be honest you're far away and yet so close yeah I feel that yeah I feel that yeah, you're up in space you're inside the noise I can feel you mm. once you've seen all the things all the places I hope it means that you come home to me once you travel the world all the space 
the last thing I want to do is hoover upstairs but I'm going to wait until after Cooper's had his nap for this so there you go that is me fully resetting and cleaning my house after a crazy weekend I feel so much better for it thank you so much for watching guys I will see all of you hopefully in my next video